everyone, my name is Megan, and on today's historical or mythological figure of the day, we'll be learning about Einfled, the Queen of Northumbria. Einfled was a British princess who became Queen of Northern England and Scotland in the 600s AD, that's over a thousand years ago. She was born in Kent, and in 649 AD, she moved to York to marry Oswy, the King of Northumbria. Now, when we think about early medieval queens, we often assume that their powers supported the kings that they married, but this is not always the case, as Einfled was both a politician and a religious leader. You can even visit the historical sites that she helped create, like the monastery at Gilling and even Whitby Abbey. After Einfled became queen, she quickly realized that her religious beliefs did not match those of her husband's. They could not decide on when to celebrate Easter. In fact, Einfled learned after she moved north that the British Isles as a whole couldn't decide on when to celebrate Easter. This meant that half the country followed the calendar set by the Irish, and the other half followed the calendar set by the Romans all the way in Italy. This meant that Oswy, the Irish, and his followers celebrated Easter on one day, and Einfled, her followers, including the majority of Europe, celebrated Easter several days later. While two Easter celebrations does sound fun, and in fact it was for a time, the difference was becoming confusing and a bit tense. Einfled, being the powerful queen that she was, convinced religious leaders on both sides of the argument to have an important meeting to decide the true date of Easter in 664 AD. This meeting is called the Synod of Whitby, and at this meeting, Einfled herself talked about the importance of the day that she celebrated Easter. She ultimately convinced King Oswy and his followers to agree to her point of view, meaning that the two days of Easter became one. Thanks to Einfled, England, Ireland, and Scotland could celebrate Easter together. Einfled's story is so important when we learn about medieval history. Her life demonstrates that women could lead in societies that we often believe could only be led by men. Einfled's power and influence challenges this belief and teaches us a wonderful lesson. Historical and modern women are capable of creating change because of who they are, what they believe, and their ability to bring people together. So, when you get to celebrate Easter every year here in the UK, be sure to think of Queen Einfled. Mm -hmm.